Hi YouTube family, a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. I hope everybody had a warm and safe day today. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe for brown stew chicken that my friend shared with me and I would like to share it back with you all. So here it is, it is looking beautiful and I can't wait to dive in, but let me show you how I prepare this. So first we're gonna start with our chicken and I already washed the chicken. We're gonna go in with some salt, just about a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna go in with some green seasoning and this have onions, garlic, green onion, thyme and hot pepper about two tablespoons, it's not a lot of chicken, and I'm gonna add some black pepper in here. So now we're gonna mix up all this, and we'll leave this to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes. If longer, better, but don't sweat. Many times I cook it right after doing the seasoning and it always come out well. But if you have the time, go ahead and let it marinate for a bit. So for our brown stew chicken today, I have all my fresh ingredients laid out. I have two small potatoes. I have two carrots, some fine thyme, flat leaf parsley. I have some green onion cilantro. I'm going to be adding some rosemary and some red onions. Let me chop all these up and then I'll come right back and walk you through step by step. So our seasoning is ready for our brown stew chicken and the aroma in here with this rosemary it just light up the whole place. It smells like Christmas. I'm going to head on to the stove and we will start putting this thing together. My friend Shondell shared this brown stew chicken with me. Shondell, if you're watching, thank you for sharing this recipe with me. For the first time, I'm gonna be making this brown stew chicken. I just added some brown sugar to my pan with oil, and we're gonna let this caramelize up before we add our chicken to the pan. And I'll show you the process. The sugar will melt and then it'll start getting to a nice rich caramel kind of texture. So now you can see that the sugar crystals are melted and this is gonna start getting frothy kind of, but we have to make sure that we're keeping an eye on it before it start getting too dark and bitter. So we have to have like a perfect, perfect finish before we add our meat into him. I'm gonna go in with my chicken. So I just added the chicken and as you can see now it has this nice color. We're gonna let some of the water from the chicken evaporate because we have some seasoning on the chicken and that's gonna hold it up until the water is completely evaporated before I add my water into the pan. So now we're gonna go in with our onions because the water for the chicken is evaporating and you can see there is a beautiful color on the chicken. I'm going to also go in at this point here and add my carrots in there. And we're going to go in at this point with our thyme. We're gonna add our green onions, flat leaf parsley, our rosemary, a 
we're gonna give this a mix and you can see now that all that natural water is completely gone and that's what I'm looking for we're gonna mix this up with all our fresh ingredients I'm gonna go in with some salt we already add a little bit of salt to marinate the chicken but we're gonna go in with a little bit more because I'm adding carrots and potatoes we can always taste for more black pepper we're gonna go in with some Chinese spice five spice can work as well I'm gonna go in and add some all-spice powder and we will mix this thing up mm -hmm. everything is looking good now and I'm gonna go in and add my potatoes Let's add our potatoes and go in with a little bit of water to cook those potatoes and the carrots and to finish cooking the chicken. The chicken is almost done, like halfway there, but we still need to cook it properly. So I'll go in now with about a cup and a half of water. And that's warm water I just added to continue the cooking process and we will come back and check this in a few minutes my brown stew chicken is done I'm gonna put in my cilantro at this point we're gonna turn our stove off and we will serve up so after a long time with a spread of vegetarian dishes the kids asked me today to prepare them a nice chicken dish. So because I had this recipe from one of my friends, I decided that I'm gonna make the chicken dish today. And now before I do my taste test, I have a success story to share from our very own Alicia. And she tried my falafel recipe and she was very happy with the way it turned out. So let me share her success story with you all before I do the taste test. Nalicia, thank you so much for trying my falafel recipe. You did an amazing job and I am so happy to hear that you enjoy it. Yours looks so perfectly well done. Time to dig in now and I'm gonna go in here for a piece carrot and some of the stew and I am drooling. So cheers, the first mouthful always go to my viewers and subscribers. Really nice gravy in there and I have to go in for a piece of potato because that's my favorite. Look how nice and soft this potato is. Let me get a piece of potato. Mm, 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 mm. nothing like a nice flavorful stewed chicken I'm gonna dive in for a piece of the chicken itself I have piece there and this is full with flavor the cilantro is coming through the thyme everything combined together really develop a beautiful sauce for the stew Mm, 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 mm. so before I make you guys hungry I'm gonna say if you like this video please give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet we hope you'll consider subscribing soon until then we want to say stay blessed stay safe we love you guys bye for now